Never be the first person during a mutiny to try to break the door down. <laughs> Agreed. And, yeah, because these are one-shot pistols. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so basically then we it actually takes us to that portion of the ship. We hear a little bit about leading up to the death, and we get a snapshot of that death, and we can actually walk around and see this guy's probably up to no good. And Mm-hmm. Nice, no, yeah, knife in the mouth. That's key. That that is not a good sign. <laughs> I mean, guys, he he could possibly just be going to get a block of cheese too. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, back to Archaeology Arcade. I'm Mike with the Florida Public Archaeology Network. I'm joined once again by uh, Tristan, and this time uh, Nicole's coming back to play this game, Return of Obra Dinn. Uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, hopefully, uh, things are working now. Uh, and so before we get into this game, how, how are you doing, Tristan? Nicole, how are you two? I'm doing great. Ready to get Yeah, doing well. It. Thanks, Mike. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Sorry, go ahead, Tristan. Yeah, so for those who aren't aware, this is a, a indie game that was released a couple of years ago. Um, it's made by one person, and it's caught a lot of people's attention, be, partly because it's good, but also because it actually is made by, uh, well, Lucas Pope, who also made uh, another famous one called um, Paper is Please, which is a dystopian paperwork simulator, which is exactly as it sounds and a lot more so this one i caught my eye uh because despite some more fantastical elements to the setting and everything it actually uh seemed to have some fairly unique percep um depictions of life on a ship and cool. like 1802 or Two. something yeah that's what it says it's a merchant ship and i guess the name of the ship is the obra den right do we are we playing like the story mode are we starting from the beginning so we'll kind of like figure out what's going on or? yeah i figured we'd give that a start okay like a lot of puzzle games at least the very beginning at least it, it tends to move fairly quickly then it kind of slows down as you have to try and start to assemble the pieces um, okay but if we we try this out we don't like it we can always just go back and, and do kind of a tour of the ship and talk about things too so we can do that for another episode if we want sound cool. all right yeah let's do this all right i'll get us check this start. obra din is that how you say obra obra din obra. that's how i say it obra obra lost at sea 1803 the good ship built in 1796 london this does look like one of those I've seen a lot of uh, news, you know, newspaper ads that look mm -hmm. very similar to this. Uh -huh. Of ships, you know, crew. like ships leaving port and stuff like that. That's yep. kind of what they look like. Yeah, trying to hire some crew. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they will work for cheap and put up with a lot of badness. <laughs> Might <And> never... poor rations. <laughs> <laughs> Might never return. And so in this case, we are actually the insurance agent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Essentially, what has happened is the Oberdin has mysteriously returned after mm. its voyage, and no one is alive on it. Oh, okay. So it's our oh, well, exactly. So it's our responsibility to go on board and try and figure out what happened to everybody and how Hopefully that wrong. That was all in the fine print, the part about terrifying. possibly yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. might never return. Yeah. Okay, so this is a couple <laughs> years later mm -hmm. in England. Company man woke me up. Said you need ferry to the Obra Din. Okay. So we're uh, working for a company. Probably in real life, it would be Lloyd's List, but they probably couldn't use that name because they would get sued. <laughs> Could be. Still around. Lloyd's List is still around. It's an insurance Marine wow. insurance insurance company. They did a bunch yeah. of stuff. Okay, so I guess we're going on the ship yep. from our little ferry boat. We so don't see that part though. So this is a graphical style he chose. Oh wow! If you are aware, it's really kind of a throwback to maybe '80s, '90s graphical styles when they're more limited. And part of the I would say more like early '90s. I remember like '80s games. It was like text. Yeah, mm. you just had to read like a story, and then you'd had to like write in what you would do. Right. So this is a little bit better. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this stylus. So, There's the capstan. Yep. Yeah, some cool aesthetics there. What was that thing to the left? Was that a 
that little box thing. Animal cage, I think. This one's oh, had okay. some history, looks like. Broken yeah. bar there. What's in the animal cage? So, anyway, one thing I was kind of, I thought was cool was the detail he put into the ship. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he, he did the rigging and... Are those flying Ooh. knees? Flying well, those knees. aren't flying hanging, knees. Those hanging? Hanging knees would be from the, I guess, from the ceiling or the bottom of the deck down. Okay, gotcha. So those are... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to look at here. They're like the L-looking <laughs> shit, like the bracket-looking things on the corner. If you, if you move over by the rigging in the vessel. That's the capstan. Yep. Oh, okay. Whatever. I think we had some back here. Okay. Well, there's definitely some in the forward part of the vessel. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> I saw those too. Oh, a dead uh -oh. body. Mystery solved. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> What's, uh, why did they say they did? They didn't disappear. They just died. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get. What's that thing in our? Um, do we have tools in our little rowboat? It looks like our laptop. Let's yeah, go grab we that. need to get this. Taking a sail for opening. Get our tools. Oh. Um. So just so you guys are aware, I it seems like you're getting a bit of uh, lag with the video, so I might react to things a little oddly. Oh, okay. So no that's worries. What's going on? We'll just make do. Yeah, we'll make do. With just... what we can. It's a period laptop. Yes. <laughs> So this is our our uh, investigation journal, and this kind of sets okay. up the setting, kind of like I told you. Um, basically, we're supposed to figure out what went wrong for insurance Pre purposes. Gotcha. On the brain, I leave the discovery of its fate and blah blah blah. Okay, just lots yeah. of stuff, huh? It's it's all right. Well, good basic. Oh, he's got murder stuff. in there. It, yeah. And then okay. we have. Um, some interesting stuff. So we have the the journey they took. So is this this is the here? log of the Oberdin? Is what this is supposed to be? Pieces or of this it is what anyway. We're... Okay. There's gotcha. some information they found on the Oberdin, Oberdin presumably. There okay. We, we have a floor plan, multiple There's decks. A gun deck. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is really cool. I mean, showing the different parts of the different decks and where people were at. Yep. And here is the, the crew, crew roster. Oh, okay. As All well as um, there are some additional. Uh, there are people here on as uh, passengers and. And it, I, I like how it has like a very multi-ethnic crew. You've got people does. from Italy, Scotland, England, Poland, Austria. I saw India and uh, Persia. Omid, mm -hmm. yeah, Gold. Which is accurate yeah. for mm -hmm. the time period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think my favorite name though is Lars Lind Lars from Lind? Denmark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> name Lars Lind. He did it. So we have to decide who did it, huh? Is there Davy James? It's like Davy Jones. I okay, didn't see. Okay. It could be where it came from. Um, so these, in case you're wondering, are not supposed to be photos. These are supposed to be paintings because there was an artist aboard. Of course. And so what you'll see is we, we will actually try and identify based on the oh. photos, the images, who we're talking about, even though they're wow. really low detail. And then we have different chapters that we okay. will work our way through. So well, it looks like there was a possible a mutiny oh, <laughs> that was put to... down mm. from the illustration. Yes, I got it. Apparently, I need to skim through the book first. So Okay, we'll do that. There's a mystery chapter. It's done a good job of incorporating, you know, like travel journals and, mm -hmm. and log books, kind of what they, they didn't exactly look like this, log books, but a lot of good info. Oh, here's some terminology. Oh, okay. Let's okay. check out, oh, okay, mid deck above the lower deck containing, oh, oh. missed it. It's all Put good. It back up. Above the lower deck containing. Containing storage cabins, animal pens, and the ship's steering tiller. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That sounds right. So here <laughs> is guess. the extra special tool that is 100% realistic. Hmm. 
Oh, that's that's actually really cool. Done. Ah. So you'll see what we do with this in a moment. All Are you good time insurance. Travel? <laughs> Kinda, actually. Cool. Oh, good, good insurance agents have one of these. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we, what we do is we go <clears throat> find a corpse. Oh, check. Found one, anyways. Okay. Okay, when we can see how this person died. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly, to the moment of that person's death. Kick it in. Uh oh. Definitely a mutiny. Oh! Oh, that's how Never he died. That's how he died, yep. <laughs> Never be the first person during a mutiny to try to break the door down. <laughs> Agreed. And, yeah, because these are one-shot pistols. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so basically then we it actually takes us to that portion of the ship. We hear a little bit about leading up to the death, and we get a snapshot of that death, and we can actually walk around and see this guy's probably up to no good. And mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. Knife in the mouth, that's key. That, that is not a good sign. I mean, guys, he, he could possibly just be going to get a block of cheese, too. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions. Is there a piece of cheese over there? Yeah. N no. No? No cheese? Oh, I see. Um, he's... Okay, why did his... Why is that desk? Shouldn't he have barricaded the door with that table? We don't know. That's what I would have done. So we fade Mm-hmm. And then it starts to fill in some of the book for us, and we can start to try and piece it together. Okay. So we're right at the end. Can you guys hear the sound okay? I can. <laughs> okay, good. Looks like uh, we've got... Yeah, Barbara's uh, joining us. She says the graphic design here is awesome. Yeah, Agreed. it's really cool. And then if anybody else is... I forget to mention this. If anybody else is... With us live right now on Twitch, feel free to use that stream chat. If you've got any comments or questions, just let us know. I'd be happy to. I'll try to keep track of it. Since I know, Tristan, you have the controls right now. It might be sure. a little hard to do. Yeah, you bet. Um, so that his, uh, we know we have the face of this individual. This comes from the painting. Okay. We don't know who he is yet, but we know that he was... Is this the guy that got shot? Shot, yes. Okay, by gotcha. He was shot. By the captain. Ah, gun. Yeah, yeah, a gun. Yep. By the captain. Yeah. Show his gun so, by Captain Robert. We can Whittle. see. So this is the guy that just got shot. That looks like the captain. Shot, okay. That definitely the captain. Yeah, arms crossed. Yep. <laughs> like, always angry. Fancy cuffs. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. Use the book and pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Got it. Okay. All right. Let's find some more dead people. You betcha. Yeah, that's kind of, that's fun. Yeah. Maps. All right. The details in this are actually people. pretty incredible, too. All the way down, I heard some people were like tracking, I think, like shoe size. To try and oh wow! Out. I don't think it's necessarily designed to be done that way, but mm -hmm. it's consistent enough that they were. It reminds me a little it. bit of Clue. It has elements of way. that. It's a yeah. very much a mystery situation. Well, you have to make a lot of deductions, right? Based on the patterns and what you know, and what you don't know. I'm assuming yeah. <laughs> we've only done one so far. <laughs> right, right. It was Colonel Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> With the candlestick. With the candlestick. <laughs> yeah. That was my okay. favorite. That was one of my favorite games was Clue. It's one of the few that I was. Movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a movie. Tim Curry. I just like Tim Curry. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is a Oh. Game. Okay. So we have like a Matrix. That's, that's our door back to reality. Is that showing blood splatter? Yeah. That was the arc. Yeah. Trail okay. Blood. Sometimes that yeah. kind of thing could be important. I don't know that it was. Can there. we find the blood pattern on the deck at all? Doesn't seem to be this time. No. I was wondering if you could find the bullet even. But oh, that'd be cool. So, here's all right, another let's one. Um... Yeah. Where are they? I 
That's probably the captain. Or maybe not. Barbara says it reminds her of a mystery dinner. Huh. You know what would be cool is if we, if we did this as a mystery dinner, something like this, on a yeah. ship. Well, there's I mean, another death. That would be really fun, actually. It would be. We could all dress up like pirates. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so there's our captain again. Is that the yeah. captain? I think on the right here. With mustache. Oh, the murderous one. Yeah, yeah the one who did the killing in this case. Yeah. Yeah. There's our... Why does he have no shirt? Did he have a shirt on last time? I can't tell I mean... if it's no shirt or if it's just the graphic. <laughs> yeah, it could be either in this case. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe no, he had... Well, looks like he's shirtless. It does, yeah. So is there a time limit that we have kind of to look around at this? And are we limited to just this room? No, it it'll, it'll give us time. And then, like, you can see right about now it's cutting to the book. But then we can go back and wander around. Oh, you as much can go back. Want. Yeah. Okay, so Captain killed dude that tried to break the door down, and then other guy with a pike with a knife. So we know this guy died. We don't know who yet. We know they died of um, stabbed, knifed. knifed by the captain again. Barbara says, "Yeah, we should we should do that once we get together again. We just need to find a ship. Yeah, that's all we need. It's a ship. Maybe the Pensacola Bay Ferry would be a good murder mystery theater at sea." There's the cheese guy. <laughs> he's just gonna piece of cheese. Yeah. Yeah, he's sneaking up back. Okay, my prediction is that he's gonna sneak up back and get the captain, maybe. Mm. Maybe over here in this area. So right now we're in the captain's quarters. Yes. And we can see he has a sea chest to the right. To the right. There. Down there. Yep. So is, I wonder if there's anything a, in there. A bed here? Hanging th like that? I th uh, it's hard to tell. I think that's the bed that you're looking at right there. Yeah, that's what I was at. Yeah. Remember and then I think delay. the sea chest is by the dresser. Yeah. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Some filing mm -hmm. things. And how how does the uh, design, how's the design looking, Nicole? As far as the ship goes? Yeah. I would say pretty accurate because you have the captain's quarters. Um, in what would be the most ideal part of the ship to ride. And then I, you can see off to the side there some steward quarters as well, which right. would definitely oh. be accurate. In here? Um, if you go back out into the little hallway leading into the captain's quarters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Okay. So that's essentially where, I guess, like his secretary or his aide would be for the most part. <clears throat> and then this, is this the how the steering wheels often looked? Or at the, is that the right term? I know, but... <laughs> helm? The helm. Yeah, I mean, you know, depending on the ship you're on, it's in different places. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I just can't tell just from like looking. I don't know how many decks we've got or oh, we got a how big, how many guns. Oh, looks like is that the stove in front of it? Is that what uh, that is? Certainly looks like it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know on earlier go. ships they would have used just a tiller. And then it kind of evolved into the, you know, the ship's wheel or the helm. Mm -hmm. By this time, it probably would have been like what you're kind of seeing here. So here's our okay. top main deck. Main deck. We've got a gun, gun deck. deck. I'm assuming we have an orlop. Orlop be... there. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then a cargo hold. Okay. And we get to visit, I think, all of that. Okay. Uh, Just based on those, those kind of you know, plan views. That looks pretty accurate to me. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, they did a nice right. job. Or he did. Who, Whoever, the developer. You said it was just one person. Just one right? person, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool, stylistically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it, you know, takes away from it at all. The fact that it's only two colors or simple drawing, I think maybe it adds something to it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It, definitely made it possible for him to do this right and the, yeah. the snapshots in time basically mean he had to do very little animation all throughout too mm. which for one but person it is certainly for this important. particular yeah 
idea, you know, he, he made it solving work a well. crime. Right. Well, a mystery, I guess. Mm. Many crimes. Yeah, <laughs> many crimes. There's definitely some crimes going on at some point. At least three <laughs> murders now. This is that we know of. third one, right? Oh, oh, man. Man, this captain. <laughs> this yeah. guy is brute. He's not looking He's too snapped. good there, though. But, uh, he must have gotten cheese crazy and thought the captain was cheese. <laughs> yeah, I think my cheese theory might be falling apart here. He yeah. did <laughs> get a good stab, though. Yeah, he did. In his side. So we got That's a mortal blow. Here. Oh, someone's asleep. Yeah. Oh. oh. She's just sleeping while this is happening. Just chilling. <laughs> uh, there's a gunshot. One, at least one, at least two struggles. Life and death struggles. Maybe yeah. the person in bed is sick, so, or possibly already dead from like yellow fever or something. So it seems like the one person was trying to get in the captain's quarters. He shot that person. Two more rushed in. He cut one guy's throat. And the other one came around and, from the top and mm -hmm. dropped down. Cheese man. Cheese man. Cheese man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I'm a hundred percent agreement. What so, what weapon did he use to? So, so he used. I think club might be accurate. For club. Him. Okay, a club. Mm, yeah, it was a long like stick. Yeah, let's... the other guy had a pike though, right? Because he was like stabbing him as he was. Yeah. Maybe it was like it's a combo tool. Yeah, speared. Maybe it was. Ah, maybe he hit... spear. So maybe he hit him. He like technically used a spear or pike to club him. I would yeah. say club. I think clubbing still might be. Definitely, yeah, there was a spear involved, but. He wasn't speared. Right. Technically. Right. Yeah. Okay. Definitely a very violent merchant ship. Things were not going well. <laughs> no, no. Barbara asks, was that a woman in bed? Um, <laughs> yeah, I well, think I think tell. so. Yeah. It wasn't uncommon sometimes for captains to bring wives and children along with them, especially yeah, yeah. on merchant vessels. So we've got two more bodies in here. Well, and, and the... Uh, she did. Yeah, oh, she <laughs> did. yeah. Turn out well. Oh, look, there's a pistol by that. Did you see under the? So maybe that's the captain on the floor. Okay, let's see. Or what? Did we already look at that one? No, we haven't done that one. There's two new okay, ones. Okay, because there's a pistol by that, by those remains. Oh, brother, my friend. Abigail. So that's probably her name. I shot him dead. Ah. Uh oh. So we know. That was Abigail's brother that was shot the first time. Maybe. Please forgive me. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. For everything. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> he was. Warning. Yeah. Trigger warning. Yeah. We might want to put that on this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, well, that looks like the... That's got to be the captain, right? Yeah, there's no one else yeah. now. Okay. Do you have a shirt on? I don't know. Let's look. You Can't put a shirt really on? So those are the two guys he just... Yeah. yeah. Looks like the shirt might still be off. He, there's also yeah. a blood trail going from where he was, well, he was just he stabbed. He was stabbed, right? Uh, right yep. to here. Right. So I think that's probably pretty likely. So this is Abigail's brother, apparently. Okay. It's our dog. <laughs> That's uh, the boss's dog. Yep. Some dogs are on ships sometimes. <laughs> dogs and cats. I wonder if there's a dog or cat on this ship. That'd be cool. Hopefully it's alive. <laughs> All right. So we know how he he died. Right. We know who so he was. The, the goal is this, is just to kind of ID people and then how they all died. Yeah. What went wrong? What happened to everybody? And so okay. he was shot by... So, so we know... Here's what we know. We know that at least one, two, three sailors, maybe four, mm -hmm. were attacking the cab. The captain was barricaded himself in his quarters, and at least these three individuals who were trying to get to him were killed in the process. Mm -hmm. And the captain 
we're presuming maybe the Abigail is already deceased mm. in bed. Maybe because she didn't look great and she's like sleeping through this whole thing. So yeah. I don't see how after all this commotion, she's just sleeping through it unless she's already maybe deceased she was or, Ill. or ill could be that. Well, here's what we don't know. Why? Right. We don't know the why. I also Barbara don't says, see. This is getting juicy. Huh. This, is, this is. Yeah. <laughs> and so my thought was he shot himself, mm -hmm. but I don't see an option for putting himself as his own attacker. Ooh. Okay. Suicide? Is there a suicide option? Oh, well, that could be. Yeah. Oh. Maybe. There. Well, he was stabbed gun. first. Yeah. Right? You got it. You're right. Oh. Gun. Oh, so if we get it right, it tells us, like, you got it right? Um, it's about oh, this may or how may this not be correct. What do you mean it may not be correct? So when you get three correct, it'll tell you that those three are correct. Until then, you have pieces that you may or may not be correct on. Oh, it's not too so, bad to start with, but it gets very complicated later on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So does that mean one of our other ones may not be correct? That's what I was well, wondering too. Our other ones aren't complete. You have to have a complete set uh, of who, I see. I see. who, what, what happened, and and who was the attacker. You have to have all okay. three. So we only have one complete now, and we're, I think we're pretty confident on that one. Yes. Okay, so we heard the click, click of another door opening somewhere. Actually, we need to go out to. Uh... Can we open like drawers and? No, the doors no. will unlock for us. So when we first came on, this door was locked. But when we visited his fate, then it opened for us. So that's kind of how that kind of gates our progress around a little bit. Mm. Barbara has a theory that this is a Romeo and Juliet situation. Maybe. It said something about shells and being at the bottom of the sea, too. Hmm. Yeah, the shells. Okay. Could there be something paranormal at work? Ooh, that'd be cool. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> or madness. Mm -hmm. Or maybe there's treasure, Actually, and they're trying to, like, fight over the treasure. We know this guy was shot by the captain. I'm gonna be honest. If treasure is the reason for all of this, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. Like, <laughs> I'm impressed so far with like the detail and it's just treasure is such an overused uh -huh. uh, plot point. You know what I mean? Right. Like, oh god, okay, more treasure. Great. Treasure. <laughs> oh, there we go. Passengers. So if we can find an Abigail in here and see the last name. Maybe we can find. There we go. Abigail host cut. Hoskut. Oh, you found? Oh, Witterall. there you go. Witterall. So she has the same last name as Wit Captain. Witterall from... Yes, in Hoskut. Oh, she does, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. From okay. Scotland as well, so that kind of lines up, right? Mm-hmm. So, so oh, maybe the first mate was her brother? Brother? Her yeah. That's his wife. Oh. Abigail's his wife. Right. Abigail's yeah. the captain's wife. And the captain said, your brother, I shot him. So okay. that was the first guy that came in. So, so we know who he is now. Yeah. The first guy first at the door mate. is the first mate. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Let's find out what happened to Abigail. The plot thickens. Barbara says that the location of the corpse context matters. This is <laughs> awesome. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. We're That's assuming, a good point. though, that none of these corpses have been moved at this point. Well, we I guess we know none of them have been. Seems so right now anyway, yes. If only archaeology was this easy, right? True. I need a memento mortem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? We could take it on Shark Tank. Promote it. <laughs> Ooh, oh, crushed. So. Ooh. That's how she was injured. You mentioned something paranormal. Oh, that's a kraken. Oh. <laughs> wow. She's much better than treasure. I yeah. like it. <laughs> yeah. And so this is apparently Abigail. And she was crushed by a man. A, yeah. A mass, yeah. Yikes. So Yikes. now we know why she was in bed sick. You're right. She wasn't doing so well. Mm -hmm. We've got a whole bunch of people now going on here. So maybe these people were tossed overboard. Ooh, that so might be why there's no that sign. Guy. Well, yeah. that, ooh. Um, that's a. Uh, Ooh, that's bad. Yeah. 
That'll ruin your day. Right. Or end it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's funny how he's like dragging him, like he's gonna save him. Right. <laughs> you know, like a, well, I think, I think he's done with. I think the implication is everybody's kind of panicked right here. Yeah. Yeah. Is cause of death Kraken? Is that an option? <laughs> uh, I think there's it's not, a a beast option. It's beast. not the Kraken that killed him. It's the uh, twenty foot fall. Yeah. <laughs> and so you'll you'll notice too the story for the mystery started at the end. And we're actually going to end up jumping around from chapter and chapter to chapter a little bit here. So, we know this is Abigail. All right. And Making progress. Crushed, probably. Um, yeah. Yeah, probably. We yeah. have crushed options. Yeah, there's yeah, a crushed option crushed. here. Ooh, torn apart. Yep. By yeah. not that, not her. <laughs> <laughs> Probably by rigging. rigging. Yeah. Beast could technically be it too, but I would go with now the it'll tell us if we got. There we go. We were right. Got it. Sweet. Three facts, three fates. Correct. Good job. There's nothing we can't solve together. Right. Go team. <laughs> we need Matlock to get up in here. Or Columbo. Do you guys remember Columbo? Yeah. <laughs> He'd always ask him right before he leaves, like, a question, and they thought he was an idiot. One more question for you before I go. All right. Oh, so here's a cool thing, too. Um, we're going to Inception this stuff. Oh. Because here we have another dead body, I think. Mm. Yeah. Mm, still being dragged. So now... He had some tattoos. I'm stuck. Oh, yeah. I don't know if anyone noticed that. I didn't, I didn't notice it, no. But that's cool. There's Maybe a cool... it's a, a clue to his origin. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Origin and identifying who he is and everything down the road is mm -hmm. definitely handy. So there... I found this so really we... cool resource online a couple weeks ago. It's, it's through... Uh, the British uh, archives, maybe. Anyways, they've got this like um, all the these documents from like prisoners that they had, you know, from like I think from like the mainly from the 1700s, but all the way up into the early to late night or 1800s. But it's a da database of all the prisoners from you know that had gone to these jails, and they uh, I guess on the descriptions of the prisoners they actually wrote descriptions of like where, what tattoo they had and where they're at. So there's some really cool oh. research being done on these like late 1700, early 1800 tattoos. Cause a, a lot of, a lot of these individuals op also happened to be sailors that had mm -hmm. committed crimes at sea and then, you know, were put in jail, but there's some really cool, I'll see if I can find the link and put it on uh, the description of this video. It's a cool little thing to kind of toy around in, but yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So it's here fate. we see his fate. Mm, torn apart. Oh, yeah, that's the tattoo. Yeah. Yep, tattoo guy. That's so cool. Um, <laughs> well, that cage isn't broken right now. Looks like there's an animal in there, a pig. Yeah, it looks like a pig, and it's not broken yet. So, no. something happened to that pig eventually. Uh oh. Okay, so this guy, we don't know who he is just yet. We do know Torn Apart. Mm, yeah. Accurate. Yep. yep. By, we'll say a beast, probably. Terrible beast. <laughs> I just found the, the website. Okay. It's called, I'm probably not pronouncing this correctly, but it's called Digital Panop. Ticon dot org. Oh yeah. Really I'm cool. Oh. Plug that in right now. Looks like there's a goat in there. Oh, it's a goat. Yeah. Oh. So you kind of get an idea of what's going on. That guy's like, don't hurt my goat. <clears throat> Not the goat. He doesn't look too good. Rope right oh, there. He's tossing there. Looks like he was. Again. Yeah, so I was gonna say tossing it. 
This guy's hiding. Yeah. <laughs> Good well, strategy. He, I wonder if he's not been crushed by rope or something. Uh, yeah. It looks like he's tangled up. Yeah, so all kinds of stuff happened. Oh, there's people off the boat over there. Mm -hmm. Looks like they cut off a kraken tentacle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So there's the there's goners. Oh, maybe they were trying to row away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's find someone else here that will. I wonder if this. Ah, they're just gonna highlight for us who's the next one. Mm. So we got to go through each one of these, or just the uh, we find, because I assume that some of them are are we're not going to find their remains. But you know, it's weird. Is so well. This was the body that you see. This is a, what's this? So this is kind of the the ghost of the body, basically. Uh, so is it? We're looking at blood spattering. Is that well? That's blood spatter. That's or? the blood and the body there, right? So gotcha. look over here. Okay. We have. Our half man, mm -hmm. and that's just kind of like the ghost of him, of the corpse. Okay. So they had the gotcha. physical remains, but we saw that's where it happened in one of the memories. Mm -hmm. But are we able to do this because there's still blood on the ground? No, because we saw the body in the memories. Okay, gotcha. All right, well. So this happened before. So what we saw in the beginning was what happened at the end, mm -hmm. and this all happened prior to that. At some point, yes. We don't know. Okay. We can look in the... Actually, we can look. We're in, So we're in part seven. So you, part eight. So yeah, there's actually a fair amount of stuff that happened between now and the ending oh. that we saw so mm -hmm. this is not going directly backwards in time it's jumping around a little bit so there is the guy we saw against the anchor is that right nicole oh yeah and i don't think Wait, that's... the anchor that's the that's the capstan <clears throat> okay what that little that? The, it would be the device that you would use to to pull up something like an anchor or okay. something heavy got it so anyway, I don't know that he turned out well for him. He's got rope wrapped around his waist there. Um, it's an explosion with a person in it. You can kind of see. Now we're getting close to being able to look down below deck. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think of that. There's our tattoo guy, too. Tattoo guy. What would you let's look at those tattoos a little bit? Can we look at those? Yeah, uh, let us give us a moment, we'll go back to it. Okay, it's kind of interesting to me. So, this guy looks like he died by explosion. We don't know who he is. Okay, so there's his. There's the tattoo. Hmm. Kind of circles, and he's got something on his forearm, too. Yeah. And the circles are on his chest as well a bit, but you can't see it in this memory. So in this database, you can actually, if you wanted to search by, like, tattoos design or subject or body location, you can type that in, and it will bring up any of the, if, you know, all oh. the people that, that pops up on. Sure, I, I got cool. you. Yeah, cool. So, so, looks like we don't have any more, <laughs> like how the door is crooked, because the ship <laughs> is rocking. Um, looks like we don't have any more to follow up with in this memory, so we can maybe go back to another memory and find another one. Or, it might be take us below deck now. Yeah, let's go check below deck. We're allowed. See, what is oh, he down there? see it's opened up over here. Oh, I nice. like those ghostly gunshot sounds. Yeah, it is pretty cool. So here's our cannon deck.
Mm. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is a heavily armed merchant ship. It is a heavily armed merchant ship. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Loose cannon. That's how he died. <laughs> yep. And Ew. that's where that that's where that term loose cannon comes from. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Briefly. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. So it is common practice, like if you were trying to get your ship moving faster or to get off of something that you were lodged on, you would dump your cannon over the side. Mm. So I don't know if that's what they were doing, trying to get out of there. Um, well, they've got a big... Oh, there's, Oop, there's, there's the other cracking. half of that one guy. Yeah, and there's some Kraken out there too. Uh, so they're probably trying to shoot, shoot the Kraken with the cannon. Oh, and it just looked, backfired. Yeah, because it looks like he has... Um, well, it looks like this one maybe came loose. Mm -hmm. And basically have a little chain reaction of things going wrong mm. here, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't work it out. On the gun deck. Okay. Yep, so... Crushed. Who was this guy? By cannon. Crushed. Mm. By cannon. We don't know who that. I don't think it, they shouted a name. No. So that's something to. So again, this this kind of shows us everyone who's in the memory, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And then you try and piece together that blurry image with what you think. Ooh, look, are they hanging someone on that deck? Yes, they are. Let me go back to it. Hmm. Well, no, it's um, let's find the actual. Yeah, it's because they were gonna shoot him, right? Because yeah. they had that guy um, tied up, and there was like a firing squad, and it looked like they had a couple others like in line, like going next. Here. So there, you you can see it's a firing squad. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh huh. Okay. I like how the. Okay. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I like how yeah. the. the the artist was just sitting here sketching this out. What's all, right. <laughs> what's all happening? Just, you know, get my sketchbook. Yeah. Can we go up? Nope. So there's a another body here somewhere. We found uh, the one guy already, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. You're breaking up for us there, Nicole. I think I heard her say decapitated. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. Or is that the other half of the torn yeah, apart? That guy man. was... Kind of torn at the waist, though, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell with... Uh, it's probably just because of the connection. It gets kind of blurry sometimes. Oh. Ooh, jeez. So that's what happened. To <laughs> oh, no. That'll do it. Oh, and see, the Kraken oh, ripped the cannon out of its... Ropes? Would it be? It's all the Kraken's fault. Mine. <laughs> mine, yeah, they call them mine. <laughs> yeah. There's our tattoo guy again. Always a tattoo. Or is, are you sure it's the same hole? Big guy? Well, he's got the circle tattoos and he's got oh, you're stuff right. on his forearms. Yeah, that's him. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, that's prior is. to being torn apart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's someone else underneath that cannon there, too. All right. Dangerous work. Lots could go wrong. The Doom. Mm -hmm. Chapter 7. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure which is which here. This is where it starts to get trickier. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. Who, yeah, this. Who we saw. 
get shot. Right. Could, could well, we'll people. never know because we can't see his head, right? Well, we'll figure it out. You have to deduce it through other means, basically. Okay. Well, we know it wasn't Tattoo Guy. Right. Is this a different one, or are we going back? Oh, we're coming out. This is out. one we just did. Okay. Now we're going to a new one. This is the one that was under the cannon during all that. Okay, now we're going to find out what happened. Oh. Oh, uh, something. Oh. <laughs> uh, so that's how he got shot. Okay. You can see his face so, a little if, better there. Uh, right. So the Kraken grabbed him onto the cannon, it looks like. Yeah, so there's a guy that was crushed under the cannon. Like they didn't belay the spark quickly enough. Seems like it was not <laughs> belayed. Right. Belay, belay. So this is almost instantaneous. Notice how everyone over here is kind of in the same spot. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay, yeah. And now, so, now we see. So in the last one, wasn't Tattoo Guy? He had the uh, the swamp. rammer. Yeah, or he did. Or whatever it is in his hand. And right. this one, he's reaching down for it. So it kind of gives you an idea of how fast things are moving mm -hmm. right here. That guy's covering his ears. <laughs> it's like a panic mode. That's what that's what I'd be doing. Just like <laughs> holding my ears, screaming, "Ha ha!" So this guy, I don't know who he is, but he was crushed by. I think Cannon would be fair here as well. I think so. Pretty much everybody on this deck. It looks like. Yeah. You know. Well, our other guys. Of lives of cannons these guys so is actually were there two people i think so Dead? it is looked like in the, in the it looked like there was one underneath and then the one obviously on the well i mean this looks like potentially it could have been receiving end of the both could have gotten the cannon almost the gun anyway oh there's a hammock a ball yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. where they slept. Yep. Okay, doorway, doorway. Where are we headed to now? Just another, oh, okay, another door. Yeah. Is this on the same deck, or we're leaving the deck? Oh, it looks like the same deck. Yeah, okay. this is back to the now, basically. Okay. Oh. So we can see the damage from the cannon ball there. Mm. Okay, cool. You can open door or try some, to there. Yeah, some there doors, yeah. Okay. Is that what was that? Is that a bed? Just hanging? Uh it looked like kinda like the captain's bed almost, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. I want a bed like so that, just hanging from the ceiling. Was in here, or passengers, possibly. Yeah, that's true. Definitely, not, just definitely not the ordinary seamen. Oh, there's a uh, the uh, what do you call it? The little whistle. Did you see that hanging? Is that what that is? Oh yeah. Yeah. Bosun's whistle. Oh. Yeah, Bosun's whistle. Yeah. So this is probably where he was at. So you're right. This probably was um, crew quarters for officers. This is probably officers. the officers. Yeah. And here we have three beds in one room. Yeah. Yeah, officers would have had these nice little bunk spaces. Usually the crew themselves mm. would have been like in a big open area with hammocks in the forward oh, part of the right. vessel. Oh, a body. A uh, body. <laughs> I was gonna say on the in the other room you went in, it looked like there might have been some women's clothing hanging. So that okay. could have been the ah. passengers. Quarters. Oh, passengers! Yeah. So maybe the passengers and the officers had you know their own quarters. Yeah. Which is 
how it would have been, right? I mean, it was very stratified. Yeah, passengers, they were paying, you know, so they, they, they got better accommodations than your typical crew member. Bring the surgeon's kit! So, uh oh. He, okay. He was cut, but we don't know by who. Oh, mm -hmm. that's not good. A whole bunch more going on there. So, okay, so this is, I guess, before the Kraken? Is that what's happening now? Yeah, this would be way before, I think, because okay. there's none of that damage and everything mm -hmm. in here. Okay. Called Lots going on kit. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an exciting voyage to be on. Huh. But not tell about. <laughs> no, yeah. Dead men tell no tales. Right? So they said he was cut. Mm -hmm. We don't know by what. Something sharp. Yeah, but there's like knifed, and I think oh, it escapes. We're on chapter f nine now. Nine. That would the be escape after the kraken, almost. Right. I think after. I think that was seven, right? <coughs> Seems like either before or after. Definitely. I think they said a name, but I didn't catch actually. We can. Oh, Bren Brennan? Brennan? Is that what he said? Here. Looks Brennan. like we got about. Brennan. Yeah. Brennan. Yeah. Yeah. So Bren Brennan. Yeah. Midshipman cabin. That's. So. Ooh, it looks like right. someone named Pete was pulled away. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. It looks like we're right at one o'clock for for our hour of playing this game. I think this might be a good place to kind of stop and maybe we can pick sure. up some other time. And there's a lot to there's a lot of unsolved things happening here. Yeah, what a great game. Yeah, this is awesome. I really I'm intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me good. too. Well I will save it. I think it's saved yeah, let's automatically. Do that. So I think we're fine. Okay, cool. So yeah. We yeah, good. This is an awesome game, and it's uh, really impressive that one person put this all together. It must have taken a lot of research, I would think. It's based on the Coles feedback and you know a little bit of what I know, it seems like it's all pretty accurate. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you know Nicole for taking the time. I know you yeah, got thanks. a talk coming up here in a couple couple hours. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> so, fun. Happy to do it. Yeah, um, yeah thanks we've for got. Doing this with uh, us. Yeah, it was awesome. But we've got another one scheduled for another archaeology arcade scheduled for next week. I think it's the same day and time, right? Thursday at uh, 1 o'clock Eastern. We'll be playing Sea of Thieves um, with Melissa Price from the Bureau of Archaeological Research. And then I think we have another one scheduled the week after that. Uh, if you want to check and see all these, all the previous episodes we've done or all, any content that we've done, like video wise, just go to our YouTube channel, just uh, type in Florida Public Archaeology Network, and our channel should come up. Uh, you can also go to our website, fpan.us. You can follow us on Facebook, either Northwest or North Central, Florida Public Archaeology Network, Northwest or North Central, to find all the cool stuff we're doing. And then we also keep uh, on our website, on the events tab, that's a good way to kind of keep up with all the right now, mostly, mostly all digital stuff we, we've been up to. So mm -hmm. um, until then, we'll see everybody next time. Barbara, good to see you again. And uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Bye all. Um, thank you, Mike and Tristan. <laughs>